Yo, what's up, y'all? It's Randy the Barber. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a shadow ball fade, a shadow fade with a ball taper. All right. So what I'm gonna use today is my Oscar 76ers with a zero A guard to uh, ball them out. So for the shadow fade, what I do is I'm gonna take it up really high and keep this dark. All right. I really like using the 76ers now. It cuts hair faster. All right. So basically, basically it's a, a, a fade. And when I do shadow fades, I, I like to go really, I like to go high so you can actually see the difference from the shadow. Uh, and so you can really see the, the, the fade better. All right. Remember, you always want to have your comb in your left hand. Your comb. Bring it up. You want a one A on top. One half. You're gonna put uh, one and a half on top. On top of the set, you do one and a half. Alright. So right now, right now I'm gonna pull out my one and a half. To take down the top. I just recently started using 76ers, uh, probably about four months ago. But I find them easier to use to take down hair, it's faster, it cuts down time. The only thing is that they're a little loud, but you know, it's alright, so. <laughs> this is the easy stuff you taking down the hair. And the thing about 76ers is you can go over over somebody's hair, but you have to make sure that you take down all of the hair just because sometimes you'll miss some spots. So you can take it down and do a little rough draft or whatever, but make sure at the end of every haircut that you go over it again. Down to. Remember, you always want to dust off your client. Uh, you always want to dust off your client's hair because uh, it'll it'll give you a better uh, view on what their hair with on um, what hair is like. Whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. I'm, I'm lost. <laughs> so right now. Just gonna go real simple. I'm gonna take my Andes T outliners. Right. I'm just gonna do this before I even fade. Just to, uh, I'm just gonna do this because we're not gonna be bloody this part anymore. All right. Nowadays I like just jumping around uh, different parts. But when I do cut hair. Just because it's uh, time consuming. I can't believe I'm casting for fun by the day. And this time for the neck taper, I'm going all the way across just to kind of give it more of a of a better look. Right. I'm not blending it right now. I'll blend it soon. And he has hair that's stuck to his ear. But when you line them up later on, just make sure you pull down the ear really uh, as best as you could. Remind you, this is a, a shadow fade with a ball taper. Right? I can knock this line out with my new with my new Andis uh, three up this is the Andis three up the ceramic blade it keeps it cooler 
This is my first ceramic blade that I own and I like it a lot. You can simply just go like this. And as you can see, it's kind of already just blended. I don't really need to do much more than this. Uh, when I use uh, 76ers, it's always going to cut a piece of hair. Alright? You can see it's already blended. But I'm, I'm not going flat and I'm not like really digging in too much. I'm, I'm getting at a good like like 70 degree angle out of like a 70 degree angle on it. So this part's already done. Using the Anders Pro Flow. <laughs> So that blade, that blend is already gone. I'm just gonna do this side again really fast. And remember, you want to always read your client's hair. This this side of his head is a little bit harder to blend than the other side because this side it has thicker hair, right? So instead of using my ceramic blade, three up, I'm gonna pull out my Regular Oster 3 up. Right. It looks like I'm going up really high, but I'm really not. It's just so I'm, I'm actually like going in and then I'm pulling out. Pause. Right. I also can do this, and, and um, so these are my my Andis Masters, the body, but my blade is the uh, the fade blade. As you can see, it's a fade blade. It's really sharp. You, can, you cannot put any um, any guards on these because it'll chew it up. All right. So these are really sharp, and they're already adjusted as is, and I don't have to do anything to it really to get it. Right. You want to be really careful when you do use these because you could cut somebody's ear off with these. I'm going to do the neck taper really fast. So this is uh, Masters all the way closed. And I'm just going to make another little, a, a very miniature guideline right here. Now I'm going to open it up to the second notch, just to see how it goes. Alright, and the, the second notch is actually the one that's, that's making it blend really easily and smoothly. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm just going to jump all the way to open, all the way to open. I'm just going to go up a little bit, or actually I'm going to go up a lot of bit because it's part of the blend, right? And I'll remind you that my client right here, John, he uh, he has some some spots on his head that's darker than uh, other parts on his head, so don't think that like you miss any spots, you just have to read your client's hair. Right, this is uh, the first notch. And now that neck taper is blended. The reason why I don't, why I haven't blended this part yet, the reason why I haven't blended this part yet is because I'll, I'll get to, like that. That part's gonna take longer than these. Right. I blend napes. I'm gonna go all the way closed again right here. And I highly suggest that if you do do ball phase, this is the key to getting that line out. This is the key. All right. Uh, I'm gonna pull out my other T outliners. These are the newer, the newer versions. The T outliners. 
because of this, and I don't really like this button. It's all right. Keep it going. So if you can see his line already, it's already it's already pretty much lined up or whatnot. All you have to do is just clean it up, and I'll remind you guys about the ear when I get there. <laughs> So come on this side. Can <laughs> <laughs> check it out. Can do that real quick. So what I was saying about his ear is that his hair is really close to the ear. His hair is really close to the ear. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take it up uh, using the right corner of the UT liners. Go right around the ear. And get that nice and clean. Also make sure he has he has ear hair on top of his ear. Right. So now you see it has lined up pretty well. You're not going to worry too much about it. Right. Now we're going to hit the other side. The other side is almost exactly the same thing. It should be. I'm going left to right on this neckline. Left to right. And then now I'm going to go use the left side of my blade and, and follow his ear line again. And also you remember you tapered this side up already so you're not really too worried. That's what I usually do with people who have like uh, hair like close to their ear is I'll just blend behind their ear. So with that being done, the type of already clean and that cleaned up already. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get my 76s again, but so I did a one and a half. On top of his head, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my uh, 1A. I'm gonna pull out my 1A. I'm gonna pull out my 1A, and then I'm gonna uh, blend going downwards. Meaning, like, it's gonna be one and a half, 1A, then a 1. Right? And by the looks of it right now, it's not cutting too much hair. So we're just gonna go straight to the 1, from the 1A to the 1, right now. Go straight to the one and just start blending. And sometimes uh, when you're blending with with Austin 76ers, you don't really you don't really have a good feeling of a blend. So you could pull out your fasties or your master just to uh, help you out a little bit. I'm gonna I'm I'm about to pull out my fasties right now. They're actually not even the fasties. I have the feed line, right? So I'm going to pull that out right now. And so I have the new speed lines, new Oscar speed lines. And these actually, I feel like these cut way better than the uh, than the fast speeds, right? So I'm getting my 1 8 guard, my 1 8 purple magnetic guard. I'm just going to blend up. So basically on top of his head, the one, the one and a half that I did with the Oscar 76er, is uh, equivalent to the one eighth open, but a little bit shorter. That's Dell. No, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> All right. So if you can see the difference from that, excuse me, Sean. I am going to pull out my one sixteen purple magnetic guard that's missing a tooth right there 
in the plan, right? Tell me. <laughs> this is so ghetto, but fuck it. It does the job, right? So with Shadow Phase, um, sometimes it's really hard to to tell where, um, like what's a Shadow Fade, and sometimes the Shadow Fade can look like a regular basic. That's why I take it up so so high when I make my perimeter, my zero A perimeter, right? Right now I'm using uh, Oster the speed lines a little bit a little bit closed, not all the way. Right. Now I'm gonna open it all the way. I'm just gonna graze it. I'm actually pressing the uh, the speed line on his head, like flat, right now, as you can see, because it'll help me out with the lineup later on. I'm gonna close it right now. Close it all the way. I like speed lines better than fast speed, y'all. My bad. I started using fast speed just recently. So yeah, basically I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna pull out the one eighth guard. Actually, I'm gonna pull out my one eight or my my number one on the seventy sixes to make another guideline right here. But I'm I'm grazing I'm grazing the head and I'm pulling out. I'm not making an, I'm not trying to make another perimeter because it'll be harder for me to fade. Right? Now I'm gonna pull out my 1-8 magnetic guard close all the way on the speed line. I'm just gonna go all the way up. Go all the way up. And he does have dark spots right here, which I have to take care of right now. And I'll take care of those dark spots with my 116. Right? So I'll pull out my chip to the 116 guard. And I'll go use the left side of my, my speed line. Right now it's closed. I have my speed lines closed all the way. Now I'm gonna uh, put speed lines mid uh, to the mid part of the 116. As I blend this right here, right. Now I'm gonna close it all the way. See where that gets me. Not really too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do uh, speed lines. I'm gonna do speed lines open. I'm gonna go speed lines open and pull out again, go in and then pull out. Right? Sometimes when people do shadow phase, they don't, they look like basic haircuts. Just keep in mind. All right. I'm gonna pull out my 116 again. I'm gonna pull my 116 out again. And just help that out a little bit. And right now I'm going really, uh, I'm going deep into the, into the scalp. And I'm listening. I'm also listening for the hair. Right. So now that side's done. I'm gonna do the back part. So he does have a a, a dark spot right here. So when I even when I blend it, it'll look like. It's um, not faded. Right, I'm just gonna go straight up. Speed line 116 closed. Straight up. And I'm um, currently just like going, like I'm grazing his head when I pull out for the blood, for the uh, fade part. And I'm, use, I'm also using the left side, I'm favoring the left side of my fast feed. Alright. Now what I'm going to do is this is my new favorite brush right here. It's a double sided skinny brush from Annie's, made by Annie's. I'm just going to brush his hair off. 
little bit easier, so for me to see. Open, open this main lines up. Open this main lines up all the way. Let's do the final touches real quick before it actually hits the line. So if you can see the, uh, if you can see his line, if you can see his line, he has a dark spot right here. So you have to, you have to read that he has a dark spot. And the dark spot, what I usually do is since I took it down to one and a, to one and a half on top, I'm probably gonna take my and this my uh, magnetic guards and I'm gonna close it, and I'm just gonna fade it out a little bit just to make it a little bit lighter so I can match the whole front line. I'm going I'm I'm, I'm going pretty pretty uh, sharp into his, his hairline. But if you're, if you're reading his line right now, it is it is really difficult. And I can tell you right now that it's, it's not gonna be the straightest of all lines, but we're not gonna push anybody's line back anyway, okay? Just, this is the only part that's gonna be needing any kind of push back. <laughs> so I'm gonna go from uh, right to left. Actually, what I'm gonna do, because his hair is growing this way, I'm actually gonna go left to right and just shave that off without even lining, right? Just to make it easier. Easier for me to see. I'm just gonna do that for all the way across, just to make it a, a, a lineup guideline, right? And he also has a space on his line right there, which is nice, so we have to be careful. Now I'm gonna start lining. I'm using the left side of my liners right now. And to hit this corner, I'm gonna go left. I'm just using the left side of my, of my liner. All right. And then now I'm gonna use the full, the full blade. So we're not gonna push this line back neither, we, but we, we do wanna make it sharp. So I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna wash the little mini hairs right here. Small blood. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hungry. This haircut actually does last a little bit longer for certain for certain people. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people do it like that, but I do. All right, so we're gonna follow his lineup again. Full blade right here, full guard, and now I'm going like left to right a little bit until I hit the corner. So I'm gonna hit the corner right here. I'm gonna go right to left. And then I'm gonna go back left to right. Just to get a better angle, right? And I'm not gonna push this line back, neither. I'm just gonna follow it to where it's clear. You want the part, John? Yeah, please. 
Don't breathe in my ear. <laughs> don't, don't sigh in my ear. Do the part later, bud. <laughs> you must have eaten. Fat boy ENT. So I'm gonna give him a part real quick. He doesn't really want a thick part, and he doesn't really want a long part. He just wants a, a regular half moon, what people call it, the half moon. Randy, hurry up. Takes me like a minute. I've been standing here for 30 fucking minutes. This is my name, Charles. Spread his, uh, his line or his skin. Remember when you raise the line and you want to leave the blade flat as possible. Right. Hey John, you feel the difference in me using this blade? Basically, we're finished with this haircut right now. Like I said, when you take down the hair with the Aussie 76er, this is the one half you can take down again to make sure it's all gone. But, just a quick review. This is what it looks like. This is the shadow fade. The shadow fade. 
with a one and a half on top, and an OA on the bottom with a ball taper and a hook. And you just saw the whole, you just saw the whole razor line and everything. And that is all that she brought to y'all. So if I don't keep in touch, follow me on YouTube and Twitter and Instagram. Peace.